this time we're going to look at intermediate paper 4 with a calculator. My version of the 2003 exam. Here's the paper that goes, goes with the VCD and as always I hope you've worked it through first. You will gain a lot more if you've actually tried the questions yourself. As I go through I'll try and I'll, I'll add other bits and pieces. The writing of course again is too small on there so hopefully you'll find the information that I give in this size easier to read. But do remember that I might have missed out some of the detail to fit it on the page. Question 1. Use your calculator to find. Now there will be a calculator question in your exam and it's just testing if you know how to use this wonderful electronic gizmo. Now you need to appreciate that calculators do work in slightly different ways even the same make a different model might work slightly differently so you really must be used to your own calculator and how it works buying a calculator just before the exam is not the best idea now this particular type of calculator is extremely good because you can literally type in the question as it goes so let's do that turn the calculator on is always a good idea Press open brackets. You should have some brackets on your calculator. Press open brackets. 8.7 plus 3.4. Close brackets. And then you've usually got a squared uh, button. But some calculators don't actually have those now. So you might have to use a different button called the raise the power of button. Anyway, squared multiplied by 1.02 equals. Now you're always asked to write down all the numbers in the calculator window. So even if you're not asked to do that, you should always do that when you use a calculator to work out a question. Write down all the numbers in the window. Let's see what I've got here. 149.3382 one, now in the exam, I'd certainly do that at least one more time, or possibly try and do it a slightly different way. Because when you multiply, it doesn't matter if you multiply first or second. So if you actually move that to the front, and put the multiplication sign there, it should make no difference. And it's well worth making sure you do get a question like this right. It's so simple, you're just pressing buttons on the toy. So it's a shame to get it wrong, so let's do it again with the 1.02 at the front. Here we go. 1.02 multiplied by, open brackets, 8.7 plus 3.4, close brackets, squared equals. Getting the same answer after using the calculator in a different way certainly gives a feel-good factor that you've at least got that question right. Do not do a calculator question and move swiftly on. Double check you've got it right. Part B. Place brackets in this expression so it gets exactly this value. So this is really a sort of an experimental question. Try brackets round there. Type it in, see if it makes a difference put brackets around there, type it in and see what happens. Let's try that first, shall we? Let's try that. Multiply by, open brackets, 3.6 minus 15.7 close brackets equals this is the answer I've got so it is not brackets there and you're expected to experiment until you in fact find the right way 
it actually turns out that you need to work out this part and the result of that needs to have the 15.7 taken away so let's just play around with that for a moment let's ignore the 4.6 at the front and let's just try multiplying these two together and then subtracting that so open brackets 7.8 multiplied by 3.6 close brackets minus 15.7 equals now in the window I've got 12.38 if I now multiply that by the 4.6 multiplied by 4.6 I do in fact get this 56.9 Four, eight. So, I've figured out that you need to multiply these two numbers together, then subtract the 15.7, and then multiply by the 4.6. So actually, putting brackets around there will do the job. Let's double check that one. Like I say, with a calculator question, you really do not want to get it wrong. 4.6 multiplied by open brackets and open brackets again. 7.8 multiplied by 3.6 close brackets once minus 15.7 close brackets again press equals and yes that's worked dear little question there just testing your ability to use a calculator and so many young people in the classroom scream out can we use a calculator for this but sadly quite a few of them don't know how to use the calculator now Knowing how to use the calculator here is going to be worth three marks. Two marks for getting that right, and one mark for getting the brackets in the right place. Now another small point here. I haven't shown any working out as I went along. I've just used the calculator. But I'm gambling a bit there. If I don't get it completely right, I won't get these two marks. I won't get anything. And it does say in the marking that if you just get that bit right, you will get a mark. So it is actually worth writing down the working out as you go along in the exam. It's the old thing about showing you working out. If you get it wrong, you'll get naught without any working out. If you get it wrong with some working out, you can still get yourself a mark. Calculate a question. Take it carefully took rather a long time on that question but because I feel we really mustn't get one wrong that's just using a calculator. Question 2 now there's more writing in the actual question in fact there's a lot more writing in the actual question I've just taken the main piece of the information out to fit on my page but let's have a read Glenn has a television repair shop. He charges £57.50 50 for the first hour he works on a television and then £39.70 for every additional hour worked on the repair. Glenn repaired a television and charged a total of £216.30. Find the total hours Glenn worked on the television. As I say, this is not all the wording in the question. And if you don't read my question paper, you'll actually miss part of the value of doing a past paper. I'm just cutting it down for the information on here. 